Hey, welcome back to Happy Little No Trees. It's been a hot minute, uh, well, on this topic at least. And I thought I was going to re revisit this sooner uh, and expand on this, but um, time, time, time ticks. Uh, but this is uh, just a quick follow up on the video I did a while ago on um, a novel way to do film looks. And the link to that is in the description. Uh, it's probably the most popular video on this channel. Uh, but uh, this crazy little no tree is all that we have going on. Uh, and it's bringing in a bunch of stuff going on in Fusion, which we can dive into. Uh, but ultimately, right now, all I'm doing is take going or walking my way back. I just set the projector up to be D65 white point-ish. Uh, so slightly off-center on the white point. And then we're just going to work back, kind of dial in the contrast, which is in this slider here. And just kind of find a happy spot. We're, we're kind of bringing, up, bringing it back up a notch. Uh, it's a little all over the place. And then we're going to work back and see where our blues are. We're going to bring our blues back down to a baseline of 7. And that's where we're going to target. All we're just going to kind of balance the floor of our image a little bit with these sliders so that we have like a unified black point to start with and then our exposure we can adjust that and we'll always ramp up because there is this one's a little bit more jumpy to adjust just want to find right around there and then we'll come back in and now they move in unison in terms of setting the black point. And that is at a baseline where we are at. And one of the things we can do, we can also come in here and uh, bring this down a notch so you can see. Nope. But as we bring this down, we're also bringing down our exposure on the image <clears throat> as well. But we'll just leave it all the way up for now. Uh, <coughs> uh, kind of look through it. So what's going on here? We won't get real-time playback ever, and that's because there's a lot going on in Fusion. And we can hop over there right now and go take a looksy poop and you can see we have this complex no tree. Uh, what's going on is uh, we have our footage coming in. Uh, these are some test DCTLs. Uh, we're clamping the footage, we're converting it to linear, uh, and then we're splitting it into each channel. And then we're using the die simulator, which uh, creates this lovely inverted image. Uh, and then we invert it back with the print stock. But then along the way, one of the things we do is we take the bleed off from that through Luma Keyers because they actually make a really nice uh, black and white mat. And we're able to pull that key and generate an alpha key that looks like this. Uh, so we switch that to alpha. You can see that up in the top left. And that is what we have going on and then that is our red key or this is our red out let's just put that there and that is our red out with where the hottest brightest whitest points in the image are constantly shaded and fleeced through and then we did that same applique for this is a <clears throat> this is a fun little spot where we're kind of working to add in a switch so that I can switch between different stocks. Uh, I've been playing around with that switch, but we did it with green, and you can see it's a little bit similar, and then blue as well. And then we put it back together here as just a preview. Uh, but in essence, what's going on is this. Let me just bring this up. In the viewer, you can see how that works. So what's going on? in this image is uh, we have our projector which is our light that we have set in the color page and that is passing through three layers and 
catching on a screen in the distance and then that light is being reflected back to our camera and that is our camera observer that is sitting in the theater watching the movie. Uh, and so these are transparent layers uh, of emulation uh, emulsions that were modeled off the die simulator and that passes through and recreates that image and that's that's generally this is what sitting in a theater looks like projector film screen camera you sitting there although we go back to the color page you can see we have four things so we have our normal out uh, which is just that linear image and if you hover it'll tell you that normal out uh, right there uh, and then we have red green and blue and if we go to highlight mode, you can see these are the same outs that we had. And then we took the three mats that were made and made a mattified version of the image up here in F key. Um, and that is then coming and controlling where and how strong the projector light is passing through is with that key. And everything else from there is just dialing in the balance. So this is kind of where I've built in the controls to be able to do things like Azure to print lights. I would love to have it in the before, but you know, working in Fusion is a pain. You can do things in Fusion in between uh, the print stock and, and the capture stock, but it's not as convenient than, you know, dropping a power grade into fusion and or dropping a macro into fusion that is that whole tree and then it just working in the color page and then this can be saved out as a lut and i think i'll talk about that in another video because it's a whole little process to combine both the fusion aspects along with that but we can do fun things and it makes it really easy and convenient to kind of steer this image around wherever we want. We want to bring up the blue, we want to sharpen just the contrast of the blue and kind of peel some of that out and steer that image around. Uh, we have a lot of control in how these things you saw. How we're, we're just shaping that black point kind of brightening the image here, uh, kind of swing it around and we can bring back in that low end contrast, kind of dip it down now that it's balanced the way we want it, and maybe even steer it around, we pull out some more of that blue down here, so. Let's see, we're kind of pushing to that almost two-tone territory. Um, yeah. But yeah, there is, we can even offset this and, and work these individually. So we make sure that our floor is red. Just gonna kind of tweak. And shifting that black point around, you can see it's just sliding, oh so gently, in there. And just kind of shape the image. The really cool thing is, as we have a couple minutes left. Uh, is once you've set this, they usually I'll come in and do the white point first, but since it's a projected, like the amount of how the light shapes the image. And so we have that functionality to push this into a more bluish territory, which would be a modern xenon bulb versus a uh, old school um, uh, carbon arc. So, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see uh, the LUT. I, I think what I'm going to do, because like it's really a pain, and I don't think DCTLs in Fusion transfer well, uh, you know, with their settings in 
terms of doing that. Whereas I haven't really tested it out, but to make a, a baseline lot where it's balanced between, I think this is five, two, four, seven, going to two, three, eight, three, and then uh, two different light points, uh, D60 uh, carbon arc, xenon, and then as well do a balanced have a balanced version of both and then do a slanted like one maybe stylized like the Joker. I don't know. If you like that idea, uh, hit the like button or leave a comment. And go watch another video on this playlist of videos. So, till next time, see ya.